Hi guys, this is Simone Yakomogong and welcome to Deep Provisions. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a smoke coolant with simple materials which you have in your house, like this container which you have here. Basically, everything I need to make this smoke coolant is right here. I'll be using this. This is um, a host for vents. This is um, a fan for computer. I'll just take out only one fan, a glue gun. One thing which I didn't add here is a knife or something for cutting. But anyways, everybody has that at home. Let's proceed. So one thing you want to do is to measure the circumference of this to be sure of the size of the hole you're going to be boring on both sides of your container. So. I'm quickly going to do that, mark it and cut and we'll get back to it. So go ahead and connect the host through the container. I just forced it open. I'll still use the hot glue to seal the whole edge so it doesn't leak when you put the ice. Another important thing you want to do is you want to make this spiral like coily inside the container. The more surface area it covers, the more the ice can cool the smoke effectively. So this is what we have here. I made this spiral so there's more surface area for the ice to cool. The smoke opening at one end and opening at the other end. So I'm just going to use the glue gun to seal every other surface to avoid leaking. So basically this is it after putting the glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the fans. So I've had this lined there at home. It's supposed to be a fan for my laptop, but I didn't use it, so I guess I have to recycle it function. One good thing is that these fans have USB such that you can connect it to the computer but instead I'm going to power it using a power bank or a power brick. Okay guys, so this is the final piece. I managed to put this together as I told you earlier on. This is um, the fan for my laptop which I you know, dismantled and I use one of the fans which I attached here. I attached it such that it can blow. At word, I use the part of the fan to attach this frame such that I can rest the fan on it. The USB goes through here and I can power this with a power brick. I connected it such that it cools it blows this way so this pushes the air forward so let's pour some ice here and take this thing to the scene and see how it holds up If you want your smoke effects to be on ground level, you don't want them to be scattered everywhere. This is a simple way which you can do this on your own. Or if you have the budget, you could buy the smoke coolant itself. But since we are on a budget, we prefer to do it ourselves. Thank you for watching. 
please if you've not subscribed please subscribe and click the notification button so you get notified whenever i upload new video for the meantime remain blessed and remember it's either you go pro or you go home bye for now